Snap. He'll snap it. Actually, Colt Anderson is behind him. And what in the world? Flag is. We talked to Tom Moore then at Indianapolis, the offensive coordinator. He got a busted play here. And then, oh, no. and then Sanchez gets hit. The ball is loose and it's alive. I have never seen this before in my life. Watch this. Vince Wilfork is going to throw Brandon Moore back into his quarterback. He's going to fumble the football. This is what Reggie White used to do to people, forklift them and just lift them off the ground. Mark Sanchez not expecting it, and it was the backside of Brandon Moore. The not Here comes Jared Allen, and he's out of bounds. Poor guy, I don't even know if he realized it. And that's a safety. Third down, eight, Gabbard's got it. Pressure coming, and Jabal Sheard's going to get him. As Gabbard throws the ball backwards into the Jacksonville sideline, all the way back at the 23, a Jabal Sheard blew off the left side, chased him all the way around the corner, had him, and when he was bringing him down, that's when he threw the ball into the sideline, but backwards. It's the, looked like the fake spike Gabarino play for a moment, and now a flag is thrown. Intentional grounding. So a 10 second runoff, intentional grounding penalty because Haney did not spike it immediately, took a couple of steps back, tried the fake, then spiked it, and his call for intentional grounding, 10 second runoff, the ball game is over. What an ending. Unbelievable. The Raiders win it 25 20. Stops, throws, completes it to Kilmer up at the 30 yard line. Kilmer driving for the first down, loses the football. It's picked up by Jim Marshall, who's running the wrong way. Marshall is running the wrong way. And he's running it into the end zone the wrong way. Thinks he scored a touchdown. He has scored a safety. His teammates were running along the far side of the field, Russ, trying to tell him to go back. Jackson desperate to get going to the 16. Not much room, trying to make a lot happen here. Big circle back by Jackson, trying to pick up blocks. And he lost the football! And it's recovered by the punter, Jones! Fourth down and six, and right fumbles. Picked up by Leon Lett. Can he go all the way? It's a 60-yard run. He's being chased by BB. Watch out! Did he get across? No, they are not. That's going to be a touchback to Buffalo. There, there's no call yet, though. He has not marked touchdown. It was knocked out of his hands and went out of bounds in the end zone, which would give it to Buffalo at the 20. And look at Lett. If they call that a no touchdown, he's going to dig a hole and crawl out of this place from there. He's going to need a big hole. <laughs> they have not made the call yet. Was it knocked out of his hand before? <laughs> there's Leon. He celebrated too soon. No, that's Jeff Goat. Well, that's he's the guy who made the hit. Leon Lett's still lying in the end zone. Now he's on his feet. And the call by him. The play has been ruled as a fumble in the field of play. The fumble went forward through the end zone and out of the end zone, creating a touchback. Buffalo's ball, first and ten. Leon Lett would have scored. But he slowed down to celebrate at the five-yard line, and when he did, Don Beebe, hustling, stripped it away. Beebe.